welcome back to my channel so if you guys are not subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscription box and the notification box and hit the like button guys it really helps with the youtube algorithm so without further ado if you guys want to learn how i did these beautiful freestyle nails keep on watching okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push back her cuticle and this is gonna help to kind of see all that new growth so that because basically when your nail grows there's basically a lot of dead skin so the better you could remove that that helps a lot more with the preventing of the lifting all right so i just opened this new file so i'm just gonna etch it to remove any sharpness so we don't cut the client and I don't really have to file a lot They're, her nails are very short so we're just going to remove as much nail good this one does need to be clipped Okay, so now that we've filed the nails, let me just dust this off. I'm going to go ahead and take my drill. And we're just going to add a sanding band on this. I forget what this is called. I always say it wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's a Dremel, Dermal, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and add a new sanding band. And this one is actually a medium one a medium sanding band i usually use fine but i um i think i bought these only because they were like the last ones left and i really needed them so we're just trying to finish them off so i'm gonna go ahead and start removing the what is it called the drain not the dryness but the shine off the nail and it's kind of also helping with removing any that cuticle underneath the cuticle area or should I say underneath the eponychium okay we're gonna dust that off really quickly and then we're gonna add the tips next. So the tips that I'll be using are these Instant Perfection Stiletto Dramatic High Arch from BU. These are really good. I really like these for a lot of things. And just in case you want a long coffin, don't use these because they're kind of short. So I found my stuff. So I'm just gonna set it there so that it's closer. Okay, so the glue that I'm using is KDS glue. This is a really good glue, and when this thing gets stuck on there, you can easily like remove it, but as of now, let me see if it'll come out. Yeah, it's coming out fine. So I'm gonna put this under the client, and this is how I like to add the tips. So we added the glue, a good amount, and I'm just gonna start putting or sizing them up. We're not sizing, because I kind of can tell by eye, um, when you actually start doing nails a lot longer, you're going to be able to like just put them right on. But these like to get stuck. It's so annoying. So that we're going to add them right here. And I want to do a almond look today. That's what we're going to go for. These are perfect if you just want to do an almond nail. Like I said, these like to get stuck and it is kind of like time consuming to separate them. This is the nail she kind of had a little pro problem on. But um, we're just going to add it on there and hopefully she's a little more careful. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to do this middle finger.
we are going to go ahead and trim them down a lot because she doesn't she hurt herself like i said right here on this finger so we're gonna just make sure that we do something short and sweet it's nothing too long where you know she'll be affected with her everyday life So I'm just like looking at both of them to make sure they are similar to length. So you can also measure them like this. All right. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. So the thumb looks a little bigger we're just gonna trim it just a little bit okay so guys my throat is a little you know not achy but it's like irritating me and it's not because i'm sick or anything my mom decided to make chile <laughs> now my throat is like i can't even talk so we're trying to i'm trying to do my best because i'm the one talking but i'm trying to do my best to still be able to communicate with you guys exactly what i'm doing so here i like to just guesstimate we're just guesstimating we don't really we don't want to be too accurate where we're cutting too much. We want to cut like enough, but not too little where if we go back and measure that um, one that this one's shorter than the that the second one's shorter than the other one. So as of here, it is, but this one we're going to follow it anyway. This one is a little too long. The second hand is a little too long, which is what we're trying to do more so that when we go back and measure it to this one, they are lining up properly. And you're not taking off too much right away off the second one, just in case. Oops, just in case, you know. That one just flinged at my face. Okay. So here's this one's too long. Let's go back and measure that. Perfect. And then we have the last one. Let's see. So this one looks like it's perfect. I feel like this this one is way shorter. This one, all this that's lifted up, we're going to remove anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it and blend it out, the tips. Anything that's popping up is going to go down. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and file her nose a little bit into shape. So I'm going to grab my little file here, my hand file, and I'm just going to go ahead and file it down a little. This one's a little longer. Do the sides. And this is a 100-180 file. Make sure you're removing anything on the sides. So they don't have to always be too perfect here when you're shaping them because you can reshape them when the acrylic is applied. But it does make your job way easier when you try to perfect it as much as you can before the application. So these are going to be more like a tapered square with a nice C curve. That's the type of nails she is getting today. Okay, so the very next step is going to be, um, basically, we're going to prep it with some Young Nails Primer. So get your primer of your choice. I like non-acid based primer, so I like to use Young Nails. This is what the Young Nails one looks like. It is a smaller bottle. This one comes to around $10 for a bottle, and it is really small. So if you do want to save your money, <clears throat> you can use a great non-acid primer by Koopa. Incorporated, not sponsored, but Koopa, you should sponsor me because I'm always mentioning y'all. So anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to clean the surface of her nail. And I just like to use alcohol. This is around, I believe, 90 something percent. I'm not really sure of the accurate number. I have it down there somewhere, but I'll get back to you guys on that. Okay, so now we are ready for application. So I'm going to grab my Viva paper towel.
and then we are gonna place it right there I got these two glitters I actually hauled these the other day you guys so I will link the video down below as well and I actually am gonna be using this beautiful pink called ice cream pop this one is by glam and glitz <clears throat> And I'm going to grab my brush from my local nail supply store. It is a number 20 brush. So we're going to use the Young Nails Monomer. And this comes to $20 a bottle. My four pack of Koopa acrylics is coming in the mail probably tomorrow, I think. I just checked it this morning. I'm like, actually, I'm not really sure. Maybe it was something else I checked that's coming tomorrow. But I'll, I will be hauling it for you guys when I get it in the mail. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up. So let's get the primer onto the nail. This is not acid primer, so it doesn't spread. So you do have to make sure you're evenly coating it. So for this nail, I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing pink. And because our eight, we turned off the unit, just so you guys don't hear the noise in the back, but because we did that, the product is actually drying, well, in my preference, pretty well. It's drying super quick because I like mine to dry a little bit faster because I know how to, like, move it around because, of, you know, when you're a little bit more experienced, that's actually a good thing that it dries faster, but when you're new, you want to make sure that it's kind of colder in your room so you can control the acrylic a little bit better. But because we turned the unit off, the room is a little bit more on the warmer side. And that's why we, I will, that's why it's for me, it's working a lot better. So for her ring, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this beautiful glitter. So that means we're going to save that for last because when it gets glittery, it gets pretty messy. All right. And then for this one, the middle finger. I think I'm gonna want to do the pink here and then we're gonna add some glitter on top of this one so I want to do it three-fourths of the way up and then we'll save some of that top part for the glitter because you don't want to make it too chunky where if you add the the pink right on top of that, it's gonna be too chunky when you encapsulate it and then it might file off. And then for this one, I really wanna add, um, let's see, cause we're gonna do the, I want to do this one on that one. Okay, we're going to do this color on her ring. This color, let me see. You know what? We'll do an ombre on this one with pink. And for the other one, for her ring, we're going to do a glitter ombre with some cover pink as well. And the cover pink that I'm going to be using, I just I literally added like 50 colors because I was cleaning out my acrylic powder cases. And anything that looked old literally was just a bunch of pink colors and covers that I made myself. And I just added them all together and I don't know what it looks like, but that's what we're going to use. Okay, and then for this one, I think for this one, I want to do the fade of the glitter also. So we're going to leave that one alone. So back to her right. So for this one, I wanted to do 
Let's do this pink that I said. I just mixed a bunch of colors and I just added it into this Mia Secret thing as well. But it is not Mia Secret. Just so you guys know, I just added a bunch of random colors. So I'm gonna see what it looks like. I don't even know what it looks like, but it actually looks really nice. Pretty surprised with myself. You guys, you can literally make your own covers. Go ahead and try it out. So I'm just adding this to the top. This is gonna be where we do the whole fade. And then fade it down. And that's what you're gonna get. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more. This has glitters in it as well. It's actually really nice and really pretty. And then I'm gonna do the same onto this other one. This is gonna be the ombre with the pink. And because the nail's so short, I feel like I had to start a little higher. And then we're just fading that down. And I'm going to add one more bead to the top. Hopefully we won't need another one. So let's see. Alright, that looks pretty good. And then for this one, I wanted to do another ombre, and I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do this one pink right here as well. We're pushing it up, pushing up the product. Feathering it down, this one. The thumbs for me are always hard. The client moves a little off sometimes when it comes to the thumb because for both of us it's a very awkward position when working on the thumb i'm just cleaning up around it and it looks like it might just need one more on top to have full coverage and fade it down and then clean up because it did touch the cuticle again. Okay, and then we're going to do the other one. So we're going to go back to her right hand and we're going to finish it off. For this one, let me see. We're going to add the clear with the... I didn't even open it. We're gonna have the clear with these glittery, beautiful sparkles. These are like angel kind of foils, I guess. Not foils, but glitters. We're gonna dip into our clear, dip into the glitter, and dry that off. And spread it around. We're gonna add that one also onto the thumb. And then for the middle, I really like this pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to add some some clear with the glitter and then press it up. Feather that down. It doesn't seem to have any fine glitter. I might have to add some right now to make it look a little bit better. I'm trying to see. That one more. Algo se muere todo si no me apuro. 
Okay, but we could try and see what it's gonna look like first. So what I think I might do is just mix these. Just so we can get a better effect. And then we can encase them with some clear at the end. Let's refill our little dappin' dish. So now we can go back and now we're ready to encase the nails and encapsulate them. So we're gonna be using our clear again. We're done with the encapsulation. I wanted to show you guys something that I ordered on Amazon. And I thought it was a cute little kit to add little crystals onto the nail. So I will be showing you guys that next. So this is the thing that I bought. It is from Amazon. So this is the product that we're going to use from Amazon. This is to apply the stones. And I will leave the link in the description box down below. Okay. So it looks like it came with a bunch of stuff. So we have diamonds which i already have but i'm just showing you what it comes with it has beautiful pixies this is really cute this is actually a lot of pixies and i will also be leaving the price you guys so you guys can see it has this tweezer which I, like i said a lot of these things always come with tweezers the instructions and it has all these beautiful diamonds and this is what we're going to be using today so we'll be trying those. And then we have the gel. So hopefully it's not on the top. So this is the brush that it came with. Pretty cool. Ooh, interesting. I'm gonna open it just so I can get it ready after filing the nails. See what it looks like. Okay, it's sticky for sure. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take the diamonds off of this kit. And I'm gonna be adding it, I believe, on this nail right here. I think that would be very cute. And then we'll see what we do. We're gonna freestyle it. And I do want to try only these. I do have some shapes, but this one has different ones. So I really want to see what there is on this one. So the ones that are calling my name right now are these little stars and these little flowers. So I think I'm going to go ahead. Is that flower? No, that's something else. That's like a, a snowflake. Here are the flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to 
I don't want to add something that's going to look too big. So I think I am just going to go with the little stars. So I'm going to open. Oh, no. I put it upside down. That's not good. Because then all the product will get to the top, which it did. So I'm trying to fix that right now. So let's set this down. I'm gonna grab this to kind of cut that circulation off. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna add the gel. Let's put it right here so you guys can see it a little better. Hopefully you can. So I'm gonna grab it with this side, I think, and place it in the middle. Cause I'm very curious to see how it actually holds up so let me grab my wax pencil pick up the little star place it in the middle all right that's pretty cute and then I'm just gonna see how to incorporate more diamonds on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this again and I'm gonna use the other side. So this is gonna be very different if this works out. Um, oh, that was probably too much. This is gonna be pretty cool. I'll probably use this side because it put, you could put as little or as much. But anyway, this is going to be really cool for when you do, um, oh, when you do different things because I want to see how it actually works with the gel. I mean, com um, comparison to the Mia Secret. So, let's see. So, I'm going to grab this size right here. No, let's, do, yeah, let's do this size right here. And we're going to put them there take another one put it next to it we're just gonna do like a kind of like a cuticle look here push back that this is very different for me right now oh that's a pixie what's that doing in there The cool thing is, you don't have to worry about placing them perfectly because it's not going to dry up on you until you choose to cure it in the lamp. So that's kind of cool. Because right now they don't look perfect. So we're going to use this tool right here to move it around. So let me clean that up. All right, so that's what it looks like, and we're going to have her go into the lamp. Okay, metesta en la luz, please. Okay, so this one, we're just going to add one little here, just to create some, just to create a little bit more evenness of the bling. So we're adding some DND taco. Ooh, look at that pink. Wow, that feels different. This one came out with a beautiful effect. I'm so in love with it. Let's do the star one that we did first. Okay. 
Okay, looking good. And this beautiful ombre with the glitter. Okay, this one goes in the lamp. So, esta en la lampara un minuto. One minute. In and that's one minute in your LED lamp. If you do have a UV lamp, that's two minutes for curing time for the top coat. So first impression with that little kit that I got on Amazon, I actually really like that gel. I've never done it with that, so I'm really happy about it. So I will co continue to see how it works. So maybe I can implement that with my clients. All right, so now I'm just gonna finish with cuticle oil and that will be all. Wow, that looks so good. I'm really feeling the colors here. Let me see. Ooh, something got stuck on there. I think some gel. Okay. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys like how the nails turned out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification button. Thank you guys so much once again. I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you guys have any comments, any video ideas, go ahead and leave them in the link down below. Or not the link, but the comment box down below. Thank you guys so much. Have a great one. Bye-bye.